Hi everybody, Kerry Benson here from Essential Nails. Today I'm going to demonstrate the removal process and the reapplication of the Gillet's gel polish on one of my clients. She naturally has quite strong nails anyway, but she wears Gillet's as a protective layer to support the natural nail whilst it grows. I've sped the video up because obviously it's very time consuming and you don't need to see me soak off both hands so my normal process of sanitization, cuticle work, buffing the top coat surface before soaking the nails in acetone and wrapping it in foil. When I'm ready to remove the residue I use a cuticle pusher and just remove the loose stuff and buff with a very fine sponge buffer just to remove residue from the surface. I file and shape the nails with a 180 grit file and I just buff the ends very gently with the sponge buffer to prepare them for reapplication. Now I apply a thin layer of base coat. The base coat is a little bit more watery so that it has a better adhesion to the surface when it cures. As a matter of course with my ladies, I double base coat anyway. I know that you should do base coat, two layers of colour and a top coat, but an additional layer now and again will help protect the nails, it will be a little bit stronger. So a double base coat and it also gives that nail surface a little bit of extra protection on the next removal surface, as, as the, the next service as well when you're removing the, the, the product. So I'm going to do gold and black nails, so I've got jet. I'm going to use jet for the design and also it's kind of magic, which is a very fine glittery gold. I'm going to add a little bit of foil and a little bit of glitter, but really at the end of this there's a little bit of a sugaring technique which I thought would be interesting for you. With the jet I usually do two coats of colour. With some of the more pale colours they can be a little bit patchy. They don't give you quite such fantastic coverage so I'll do a third coat of colour. But once I do have the colour layers on and finished I seal them all with the no wipe top coat. Now this no white top coat obviously doesn't have a sticky residue layer so it doesn't require wiping. So on this little pinky here I've put a thin layer of this no white top coat and I'm going to sprinkle directly onto it a very fine glitter dust. Shake off the excess, cure it in the lamp for a full cure. When it comes out I brush off the excess and I re-cure it in the lamp just to make sure that I've got it all. It leaves you with a textured finish. So this is sugaring and textured nail. I've, I'm doing another one using a different technique. Now I've got gel paint, black gel paint, and I'm painting a design over the top of a finished nail. This has already been top coated with no wipe top coat. I use a gel paint because that also doesn't need wiping off afterwards. You can use it for raised 3D work and designs, but I'm also going to sprinkle some transparent sands, a little bit like glitter fibers, very smooth glitter fibers. But it just shows you that you can create the color with the gel rather than the color of the glitter. You could also achieve this by painting this design with the clear no wipe top coat and sprinkling a coloured glitter on top. I prefer the gel paints personally because as you wear some of the glitter off and the texture disappears, the design isn't completely lost because you've put the design on in colour. So when I've finished painting the little swirls and the designs that I'm happy with, I'm going to use a very fine sand 
translucent sand. And I'm just going to sprinkle that over in exactly the same way, shaking off the excess and then curing in the lamp. You can get some translucent white glitters, some silver glitters. You can use any colour you like, but the finer the better. So there we go, brushed off, cured them properly. A little bit of a cute girl, and that's a design that I've done with Gelase Gel Polish and a little bit of glitter. I hope that you give some of the techniques a try and post them on our Facebook page and show us what you've been getting up to.